Fiber? Hi, Cracky kid, I'm glad to see you. Sorry, I haven't changed a bit. And you sure look fun. Where is everybody? Well, you see, son, the old town is dead. Didn't go in ahead, keeps going backwards. Everybody's walking around deader than door nails and don't know it. Right at this time, they're all having their siesta. Don't mean the town. Uh, where's my aunt? And Helen, the girl next door. Well, after your aunt died. Died? Yes, a year ago. My uncle, where's he? You see, he claimed he owned that property you gave her and sold it for practically nothing. Spent the money booting that run out of town. But Helen, she's here. No. She got married and went east. If I'd known that, I'd stayed over there. Oh, them that can forget you that easy ain't worth nothing no how. Come on, let's get home. Home. Sure. You're living with me. Thanks, old timer. But no buts. Now listen, man. your pa and me was pals. He saved my life and got killed doing it. I ain't forgetting that. And I always figured if I could do something for his boy, it'd sure make me plumb happy. Oh, well, if that's the way you feel about it. Oh, come on. Where's my horse? Boy, stableman owns it now, but I reckon you can buy him back. <laughs> well, I'll care right, Nellie. Yes, sir. He ain't as shiny as she was when you left, but by cracky, she sure does her stuff. Get in. Contact. Eh? Oh, I'll turn it over. Hang on, son. Take you through the only walking graveyard in the West. Well, boy, you old son of a gun. Hello, Hank. Oh, you're back from the war, eh? Yep. And I'm sorry, but I sold your horse. Sold him? Yeah. I'd like to buy him back. He ain't for sale. You don't need spurs with him, mister. How do you know what I need? Well, you see, I broke him when he was a colt. Yeah? Well, I'm a-breaking him now. You might have waited a while. How did I know when you was coming back? All right, son. Twister, we're going home. I got your clothes and everything right there. Yeah. 
this mine we're going to was found by your pop and me. Ain't been worked much, but sure looks promising. Tell me, did you do much scrapping over there? Nope. I just got started when they called everything off. Eh? Well, I read the papers. And if you did what you done just getting started, what did you did if you'd got on your way? That's some new fella carrying passengers to Chinko since he stopped the stage. Yeah? Once in a while he carries the payroll. When did he start? Oh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, we better get going. We camp at Coyote Springs tonight. We ought to make it just about sundown. Yeah. Takes the Beaumont payroll every month. So Burns says. Well, Burns ought to know. He sells him his gas. Say, if Burns had short measure him sometime on his gas, he'd be forced to land in the desert. He sure would. Hey, that idea is worth figuring out. Much good to drink, but it'll help cool Nelly off. Hi. What is it, son? Come here. We've got to watch for her, Si. Strange, isn't it? Your names are almost alike. Let me see that button. Today is the 5th. On the 8th, he's taken 10,000 in currency to pay off that Rock Creek Dam crew. Got it figured out to the foot. I'll give him just enough gas to put him over Gopher Flats. He'll have to make a forced landing right there. And we'll be waiting for him, too. Don't forget Nellie's gas reserve. I got it right here. There's the bacon, son. Four thousand if there's a cent. And the deeper we go, the better she gets. 
First thing I'm going to do is buy my horse back. Huh? You bet. Well, I guess we're all loaded. All set. Now, 40, 45 gallons will fill her up, Burns, and uh, check her over good. Sure, I'll oh. check everything. Are you Mr. Gray? Yes. Do you take passengers to Chinco? Sometimes. Well, I'm to meet my uncle, Cy Helmer, there. And they tell me the stage has stopped running. May I go with you? Sure. Now, uh, what is your name? June Collin. June Collin. Mm -hmm. Sure is a pretty name. <sighs> Well, let's, let's go. Everything's all set, Greg. Okay, Burns, were you ever up before? No, sir. Better put on this uh, helmet and goggle. It's pretty windy up there sometimes. Oh, thanks. Clear. Contact. Contact. There goes the payroll. Yeah. What's the matter? Something's wrong, Sai. He's cutting out. He's coming down, Sai. You might crack up. Get a canteen. Burns added figure to a dot. Here he comes, right in our midst. Hey, 
It's two of them. We'll shoot first and con them afterwards. I don't know. I can't figure this out. It's a woman. Come on, let's get the door and get out of here. No telling how many are coming. We must be seen. Come on. I know him, sir. He's a buddy of mine. Come on, Buck. Snap out of this, fella. He's shot, sir. Give me that water. Hey, son, look. I wonder who they are. I don't know. But one of them's riding my horse. I'd know him any time. And here's what they were after. But I can't understand what brought him down. He's out of gas, Si. Get that reserve tank and I'll fly him in. Are you hurt, miss? What happened? There was two of them. They shot Mr. Gregg and... Oh, oh my shoulder. She was flying with Buck. She's wounded too. We've got to get them both up front. That wouldn't happen again in a hundred years. Rotten luck, Ken. We'll sneak into town and drift in the saloon unnoticed. Remember, we've been there all day. You're right. Come on, let's go. Get me in town as soon as you can. Hold on to that wing, Si. Deposited the dust in the bank. How was your buddies, the girl? Doctor, says Buck has a 50-50 chance. The girl will be up in a day or so. Guess who she is? I ain't slightest idea. June Collins, the niece of that man we found on the desert. She's been crying and asking for her uncle. I'd sure like to meet the skunk that killed him. We can't tell her the truth. She's alone and depending entirely on him. She needs him now more than ever. Well, what can we do? There's only one thing, Si. No one will know the difference. You've got to take his place. Me? 
Oh, shucks. I ain't even ever been a father. I ain't no fit person to be uncle to nobody. Si, you've got to do it. If you could see her crying in there, you would change your mind. If your names are so near alike, all you'd have to do is add an end to it. Well, I've been called about everything but uncle, so here it goes. We're gonna wash you up. Oh, you're just right. Come on. Well, I hope I don't mess things up. I'm sure they'll find him, Miss Collins. I found your uncle, Miss Collins. Sorry. I'm so glad you've come. Don't try to talk now, honey. Oh, but it's good to see you. You've been so good to me all these years, and I can't wait until I can repay you. Why, just having you with me is paying up. Oh, but I'm going to keep house for you. It'll be lots of fun, and I'm a good cook. Are you? Mm-hmm. Well, I reckon we can handle a few good meals. We? <laughs> sure. Ted and me. You see, we're buddies. Ted? Yes. Ted Garner. Oh, I reckon you'd know him better as Gap Garner. Why, he's one of the finest flyers. Oh, sure. I've seen your picture. Certainly you have. Everybody's seen it. He's the greatest deuce ace. Oh, now, wait a minute, Si. You see, Miss Collins, your uncle has a habit of exaggerating everything. <laughs> Pardon me, but the sheriff is here and wants to see you both. You must get some sleep, honey. We'll see you tonight. All right, I'm sorry. Boy, oh boy, ain't she sweet? Si, did you ever hear of love at first sight? No. But if I look like you do, we both got it. <laughs> Miss Ted Garner. Howdy, Sheriff. How do you do, young fella? I used to know your dad. How you feeling, Buck? Not too bad, yeah. Greg was just telling me what happened on the desert. I've been trying to figure it out. And there's only one way they could have forced Buck right where they were waiting. They figured out his flying time and gave him just enough gas to get there. Come to think, Gap. Burns quizzed me several times of what mileage I was getting. That about proves it. It was all a frame-up. I've got an idea, Sheriff, if you'll okay it. And we'll get the whole bunch red-handed. Well... What is your idea, Garner? You send out the report that Buck died without regaining consciousness. Tell him the girl didn't hear or see a thing. I'll eventually take over Buck route. And we'll let the report leak out to Burns that I'm carrying a large sum of money. They'll try and get me the same way they got Buck. Only this time, you'll be there waiting for him. Sounds very good to me. But we'll have to work this thing up in detail. Now, the first thing is... Hello, Garner. Hi. Hello, pal. Hello. Hi. How's that air pilot you brought in? He's dead. Did he ever come to? No. They didn't get a word out of him. And the girl? I think she'll be all right. Didn't she see anything? Not a thing. After she got a slug in the shoulder, she fainted. Cy and I searched all around and couldn't even find cracks. Hmm. What's the sheriff think about that? He thinks it must have been some enemy of Greg's that signaled him to land and then shot him. It couldn't have been robbery. The payroll wasn't even touched. Hmm. Take a hand, Garner? Sure, for a while. Yeah, sit in. Let me get this straight. I'm putting up my horse and the outfit. Again, you're winning. Fair enough. But I'm calling for a new deck. All right. Barkey, bring us a new deck of cards.
Hyper deal. I went. Three jacks. Three queens. And a pair of deuces. Well, I suppose you want a bill of sale. I'm glad to get rid of him. He can't run anyway. He used to beat everything around here. I got $500 that says that my black can outrun him. Give me two weeks to get him in condition and I'll take that bet. And did he really say all that? Why, you ain't heard the half of it. Why, he said, he said that all the rosies he'd ever seen wasn't half as pretty as you are. And, and then he said, he said that all the stars in the skies couldn't sparkle like your eyes. <laughs> Hello, folks. How are you feeling tonight, Miss Collins? Much better, thank you, Mr. Gardner. You know, Uncle Sy's been telling me all about you. Yeah? And he told me some of the nice things you... I think I'm going to like you, Jack Garner. I hope so. Jumping G. Hossafat, it's quarter to ten. Come on, son, we just got to get going. Now, you get a good night's rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Uncle Sarge. Good night, honey. Good night, Dad. Good night, John. You know, if they pull out some nails and put on shoes, maybe it'd run. Uh, where's the saddle blanket? Hanging up in the last bedroom with tin case clothes. I think I got it with me. Kincaid, that dirty rat. 
Can't do anything now. It'll tip our mitt. We'll have to wait and get them all together. That's a cute house you gave me. Well, isn't until we can get a better one. I'll see you in town. let the little lady hold it. Fair enough. Well, you better not trust me with so much money. <laughs> now, where we start? Yeah, listen. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to stay on the... And you're going to finish the gate over yonder. Mm. Well, uh, let's get started. All, all right. right. Good luck. Hey, I enjoy like a nice horse. And this is going to be we fair. have a little year up here. start. Hold out. You better let me carry that purse. Somebody might try and get it. Oh, sure. I wish you would, Uncle Si.
Lex ahead. Yeah! at the blacksmith shop. I'm going to get my horse there. All right, Dad. Don't let it worry you, Ken. We got the dough anyway. You have. Oh, burn! Are you still running the gas station? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm taking over Greg's route. Don't tell anyone, but I'm carrying the monthly payroll. Yeah? When do you start? The first of the week. Uh, you keep that quiet. Sure, I, I won't tell nothing. All right, Bernie. If it wasn't for spoiling our plans, I'd even things up with Kincaid right now. He blackjacked me during the race. Feel this lemon. <laughs> that ain't all he tried to do. I got something to tell you. Let's get out of here. do the job right over again. They don't suspect nothing. Where's the dope? They don't even know they haven't got it. I put the money in that pocket and nobody saw me do it. But this wasn't there when I left it. Where'd this come from? I tell you, it wasn't there when I left the money. Don't lie to me. It couldn't get here by itself. Wait a minute, Kincaid. Blake's telling the truth. I saw him when he come in here. I'm on the level, Ken. I put that money in that pocket. No sense in us arguing, you know, with this new deal coming up. Maybe you're right. But it's mighty strange. I lost this way out in the middle of the desert. And if things work out the way I planned, well, someday, Here comes the sheriff. Oh, someone always comes at the wrong time. Well, you see, he's going to make me a deputy. I'm carrying a large sum of money tomorrow. You'll be careful, won't you? For you, always. 
Oh, I love you so much. Sure you do. I know it all the time. Oh, Uncle Si, you know everything. <laughs> yep, I'm one of them walking centipedes, or what you call them. Hi there, Sheriff. Well, how do you do, Si? Come on in. Hi, young fella. How are you, Sheriff? Oh, can't complain much. Well, everything ready for tomorrow? Everything. I gave Burns an earful. He thinks I'm carrying 20000 Well, I suppose I might as well swear you fellas in. There's your bag. There's yours, Sai. Now. Late tomorrow afternoon. 20,000, did you say? Good. We'll be waiting. Leaving the country, Kincaid? No, just buying some cattle over in the hill. Hello, boys. Where's Ken Cade gone? I don't know. He drawed out all his money, said he was going to buy some cattle in the hill. Money? I didn't know he had any. Yes. Brought in 8,000 in dust about seven months ago. We better be leaving now. We don't want to run the horses. And it'll take some little time to get there. Right. Going, June? Well, you said you'd be gone all day, so I thought I'd go for a little ride. Don't go too far in the desert, June. Get back before dark. All right, I will. But be careful now. Bye. 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 Be sure the deputy brings my horse. I'll tend to it. The sheriff will ride out with me. Be careful, kid. I will, Dad. And don't forget to watch your own step. Hey, I can do that. Howdy. What are you doing out here? I was just taking a ride. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have her with us. If he should use a gun, he'd never shoot her. You're right, Ken. So you'll finish your ride with her. Fill her up, Burns. All right, Garner. Murdering him burns just like you murdered me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It was Kincaid and Blake. That's what we wanted to know. 
Get back there, Burns. You're going for a ride. Don't do this to me, Garner. They'll shoot me without a... Without a fighting chance. Just like they did Greg. Like you know they'll shoot me. You're going to take your medicine, Burns. You prescribed it. Now get up there. 